Romania 3, Ukraine nil, And Romania have come out on top. This is the one team that I really didn't know anything about. But I feel like in every tournament, like in AFCON, we had Equatorial Guinea and Cape Verde. There's always one team you don't know about and then they come and just blow you away. Coming to the tournament, they're really considered five goals in ten games. Like They are just a solid outfit um, in terms of how compact they are defensively. Like They looked... They looked really, really good. That combination at the back of um, Dragusin and Burka, they, were, they, were, they really nullified what I thought would be such an amazing attack from Ukraine. Ziankov, um, Dovbik, top scorer in La Liga last season, and Mikhailo Mudrik. But the coach kept on bringing Mudrik to the center. And I'm like, you're causing more trouble on the wing than in the middle, right? So there were times when even after you, Romania had scored, he, he came to the middle and... And Rachu was just not being pressured, you know. Like, you need to pressure him. Romania were playing. Rachu is the right back for Romania. He's he's the right back when they attack. He was playing, like, as a right winger. This boy is insanely quick. He recorded the second fastest time in La Liga, only behind Vinny Jr. Like, the guy is rapid with his blue dyed hair. Like, you can't miss him when he's running. So, yeah, I thought you leave Mudrik on the wing and just cause trouble. Like, make him have to defend. But when Mudrik comes in, like comes to the middle to the middle of the park then there's a lot of there's 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 no reason for Rachu to actually stay back there if the midfielder Marin is going to be covering and Dragusin have him covered you know so I really think that that was a bit of um from a tactical perspective the coach Rebrov the Ukraine coach I, it didn't it didn't make sense um and speaking of Rebrov I looked at him and I was he really was he looked familiar until the commentator said that he used to play alongside Shevchenko and I was like hmm that is where they come from but yeah Rebrov um in as much as they went one nil down uh through Stanchu's goal up until that point they were just playing they, they in terms of how they were executing the game plan it was going well but Romania also executing there as well they were staying compact they were hitting you on the counter they were very willing to leave the ball you can keep the ball as much as you want but once you get this ball we're going to hit you hard and hit them hard they did so the high pressure caused Matvienko to give Lunin a very weird pass then Lunin Lunin's mistake is that he kicked it straight to Dennis Mann who to me I think was probably the best player on the field and Mann it, the thing is he Stanchu scores an amazing goal, but the layoff, the ball is such a simple ball that you don't say like you when you first look at it, you're like, oh, that's not a great assist. But the weight of the pass is so good. Stanchu just all he has to do is just put it in the top corner. And yeah, Stanchu I'm so far goal of the tournament, like easily. Then up until that point, Ukraine had had 70% possession, but they're not really effective with it. And um, yeah, Lunin, Lunin again to get to Lunin. Lunin's positioning today was a bit off for me. So for that goal, obviously he made the mistake. Then uh, five minutes before halftime, corner comes in. He it's like he's trying to attack the corner. He's anticipating something that hasn't happened yet, and he's trying to attack the corner. But Stanchu just kicks it a bit further behind him. So he's trying to scramble a few to get back. He doesn't get a touch on it, but the corner hits the post like straight from the corner. So. It's like he was trying to do too much, right? To try and uh, make for his mistake. But we went into halftime one nil, and at that point, the commentator also said something that was interesting. There's only been two games that haven't had a goal from outside the box. That was Denmark and England. The England game or the Denmark game? Denmark against Slovenia, and Denmark playing Serbia. Um, eight minutes after halftime, again, Razvan Marin goal. This was a bit of a weird goal because... Romania countered Ukraine's counter. So Ukraine had the ball and Ziankov was on the counter. He just didn't make a decision and he could have passed, he could have shot. Finally, he kind of like comes back and then he loses the ball. And then at that point, Dragu, what was his name? Dragu, Drag, Dragush. Yes, Dragush. Dragush gets the ball. Mind you, he's the striker. He runs like 50 meters, just lays it off for Razvan Marin, who just has an amazing shot. Again, another goal of the season or goal of the tournament contender. Still not as good as Tanchu's, but a really good goal outside the box again. And it was 2 0. At this point, the Romanians were rocking. The fans are just behind them. Um, then the 56th minute, Mudrik loses, loses the ball in midfield to Stanchu. Then Stanchu has a shot, and I, I still can't believe after scoring such a goal, you're leaving him space, right? I guess it was also off uh, turnover, so it's harder to defend him. But yeah, he had a shot, then it was blocked. Then I think he came back to Dennis Mann, who just cut back, shot as well, and then Lunin made a great save and kept it at 2-0. And at that point, it felt like that was a really, really crucial moment in the game because if Ukraine get one back, then it's going to 2-1 and anything can happen. But from the resulting corner, 
Ukraine are asleep. Ball comes to um, uh, Dennis Mann again. Dennis Mann beat Shaparenko, one of the two midfielders, easily. Like, he didn't even, like, really put in effort. And then what the impressive thing about this goal is Dragush. If you look at Dragush, he's in an off- offside position. And it's such a split second where he just jumps back. And then the ball is just laid off to him and he finishes into an empty net. The goal, the, the, obviously, it went to VAR. VAR approved it. And it was just that slight movement that really made the goal, let the goal stand. So in as much as Lunin kept them in the game for that one shot, you can see how lack of concentration, like once Lunin does that, you need to concentrate and see, avoid such a mistake. You can then concede. It's okay to consider that goal, but not in such an easy manner. And yeah, I was, I've been quite impressed by Yodanescu, the Romanian coach. Like this team is, this team is really good. That at the front, Marin, um, Marin plays in midfield, but Stanchu Dragush man, Marin, there's two Marines, Razvan Marin. Those four guys were just insane. And also, I need to give a shout out to Dragusin and Buka for actually managing to keep the whole of Ukraine quiet. And yeah, they played quite well. And with that, Romania moved to the top of Group Group E as Belgium and Slovakia are just about to play. <laughs> 